four minutes we have to break. Currently, geopolitically, Russia, China, the U.S., aren't they just different power blocks played off against each other, but with the same globalist operatives in quasi-control of all three? Right. Probably that's true, but people can't identify a supernatural, if you will, brilliance orchestrating evil. Now, Alex, I deal on that whole statement. Obviously, the, the Illuminati is going to say we were seeded by aliens. That's called banned spermia. The Vatican is getting ready to baptize aliens. Where I differ from all those guys is this. While it's easy for them to uh, claim the Anunnaki, uh, name them whatever, the gods, uh, they actually the Pentagon's call, I think the Pentagon's official name for them is the Sumerian gods. All those things are fallen angels masquerading as something. The Bible is very clear. I believe that, you know, obviously God created Adam and Eve, not, uh, you know, somebody from the planet Antares. But in order to deceive, in order to seduce, in order to destroy, the fallen angels have perpetrated, have populated the planet, and even all the Mesoamericans uh, recorded, Native Americans record, the star people. So what greater lie, and I tell people this, Alex, when people say, why won't they talk about all the giants that are found? Why do they hide the bones? Why do they hide all of the evidence, Steve, that, that you and the ancient uh, writers, I'm not ancient yet, but I will obviously become ancient sometime, the, the idea is simply this. Alex. It's the greatest deception in the history of the universe. If someone says the aliens created mankind, I said, then who created the aliens? You see, because the law first mentioned. So what I'm trying to get people to understand is, is that we're seeing the Pope show up on the 23rd of September, and the Vatican, Tom Horn, has done an amazing job of, of uh, you know, basically writing out the Vatican's own statements on the aliens and that they will baptize aliens and then the idea can you have an alien saved by jesus the answer to that is no because jesus didn't die for the angels that sinned he died for mankind jesus absolutely makes that clear so look at the attack on jesus anything is fair game and you know this see the spiritual realm is coming into the visible physical realm uh book of revelation States, woe unto you and have the earth, for your devil, the devil, your adversary, has come down, knowing he has but a short time. People can't separate the wrath of God, which is at the end of the tribulation, from the wrath of Satan. They they try and make well, them sure. the same thing as yeah. I mean, I know this. I, I mean, even if you were an atheist, if I was an atheist, which I'm not, researching this, I would discover the elite believe they are being influenced by interdimensional creatures that give them special knowledge to be in control. And then you see how the eugenicists came up with all these plans 160 years ago. It is not of this world, as the Bible says. Uh, it's, it's devilish. I mean, it's the only way to describe it. You know, there's only a few herbs out there that even the FDA admits is a treatment for prostate problems, enlarged prostate, things like that. And that's saw palmetto. And we set out at InfoWarsLife.com to just create an entire line, got like 15 products now, a couple of them aren't here yet, but they're in the pipeline, that just has stronger dosages, organic, highest quality, and then fuses in the latest research. And Prostagard, what has like 10 different ingredients, saw palmetto, Lycopene, that's what supercharges the saw palmetto. A lot of evidence says it's even better than that. Plant sterols, zinc, vitamin D3, selenium, copper, and other key compounds. It's back in. Very popular because similar formulas are $29.95, $34.95 or more for just saw palmetto or the lycopene. We put it all together in one pill, and I take it a couple times a week. There's so many pills now, but... I'm trying to get in the habit, and I, it's it's really just fused together with everything else I'm doing. I'm 41, and look, if it's helping your prostate, it's going to be helping other stuff as well. And that's one of the number one problems men have. It's one of the biggest problems with dysfunction and things like that. And I don't have any of those problems, but boy, has my life gotten better overall. I mean, occasionally, my pro and I'm going to have a medical checkup. I'm fine, but you know, your prostate burns. Uh, you know, every once in a while, you'll urinate or whatever, your prostate starts burning. I mean, we're adults here, we're talking about it. You take this stuff, I mean, I'll, I'll tell you, it might have happened once a month to me. I've been on Prostagar for about a year. Even before we had it out, I was taking what our formula was, and it just has changed a lot of things. 
because these plants are so key and our bodies need them. That's where the idea of drugs comes from, pharmacia is from plants. I mean, look what aspirin or any of this stuff does. And it's just right there. So if you're not taking Prostagard, I mean, I think women ought to take it. I mean, it's just good for your glands, period. And I think it does a lot more than what they say. So Prostagard is available at InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. Luke in Waco, Texas says, Alex, team, two days with dramatic improvement with urine flow and reduction of nighttime visits to the bathroom. Yeah, when it swells up, it does that. 6X to 1X. AM completely satisfied and completely satisfied. Thank you, Luke. And yeah, that's the other issue is when my prostate has flared up, which is very rare, you got to get up and go to the bathroom every hour. Uh, I mean, this is just what it does. And, you know, guys, we can talk about it as part of our body. The, the, the plant God gave us is the answer. Uh, and so I kicked myself. I got a lazy Susan now. Oh, that's politically incorrect. <laughs> lazy Susan. They're actually saying don't use that word anymore and don't say bossy because it hurts women's fault uh, feelings. And I got all the pills out there now, the products. I got the Beyond Tangy Tangerine from ForceHealth.com. I've got you know, some of the longevity products, our products, all right there. So InfoWarsLife.com. The Prostagard, Super Male Vitality's back in. You can get buy two, get two free on the Silver Bullet. Now's the time to stock up on high-quality colloidal silver with the winter months coming up especially. And it also helps fund this operation. So I want to salute you. And thank you all for supporting InfoWarsStore.com, InfoWarsLife.com, and, of course, InfoWarsHealth.com, the entire spectrum of longevity products discounted with free shipping uh, when you sign up for uh, auto ship. And you can also sign up the first time uh, and pay 10 bucks, become a distributor, and get 30% off. Be sure and take advantage of that at InfoWarsHealth.com or InfoWarsTeam.com. Now, going back to Steve Quayle. Steve, I want to do a whole interview with you sometime where I show the New York Times admitting, and you remember the scientific name. I did a whole video on it, Secret of Prometheus Movie Revealed. Transpermia, what's the term that scientists Pan use? Peak panspermia. Yeah, panspermia. Yeah, panspermia. And, and so, 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 so I can show, so I can show all of them saying this. So then you don't sound like you're crazy for people, because regardless, this is what the elite believe. But I want to segue out of it in a moment, but go ahead and finish up with that. Well, yeah, panspermia. And the, the whole thing is, Alex, is that, you know, whenever you want to do a show on it, I would welcome that. Because what's tragic is, is that people somehow can't put two and two together. If I'm some guy in the 20, you know, first century talking about this stuff, there are so many uh, accounts in ancient history, uh, antiquity, the giants of South America, the, there's, there's no place, the giants of China. And the reason why people want to cover that up, especially the elite, remember this, the elite are preparing the world to accept Lucifer as their god. They are absolutely uh, bent on one thing. They must destroy the Christians. Look at this. ISIS could have been stopped on their four-mile um, march of all the U.S. stuff. Why has the United States and Britain been supplying ISIS with weapons? And we've seen the pictures of it, and the C-130s dropping sure. uh, you know, equipment. But here's one thing I want to share. I, had, I, I was contacted by a C-130 pilot last summer and the summer before. People were noticing in all parts that are really remote, whether Colorado, Montana, Washington, and I'm talking about a C-130 training pilot said this. He said, Steve, all the C-130s that you are seeing, even some landing on highways, abandoned airstrips, their primary goal is only one thing, and that's to supply the foreign troops making war with the patriots and the veterans when they decide it's time. Now, again, since when is the Constitution a hate document? The answer to that is when you've got a communist and a Muslim controlling everything that is being done in this country. What most people don't understand is this. The anchor babies is more than just a problem of Latin Americans and South Americans. What you're seeing is the complete dissolution of the middle class and all their assets and all their fruits of their labor, their life, their inheritance being transferred courtesy of, uh, of the federal betrayers into the hands of illegals, into the hands of those who have been released. Alex, you and I talked years ago, years ago, about the ultimate uh, 
Prislam, and that's the uh, Islam in the prisons. And I had a, a very high-ranking uh, Texas guy email me and said, Steve, the plan is to release them all. Someone said, ah, oh, you're crazy, Quayle. You're crazy, Jones. Oh, yeah? Well, we've already seen it done. How many hardened criminals have been turned loose? Imagine. Obama just people. came out two weeks ago and said he wants to re start releasing criminals out of prisons, which sounds like some peace initiative. No, it's further to destabilize because as whacked out as all this sounds, the border's wide open. They are trying to destabilize. I want to go to phone calls. What do you see as the timetable not not so much the actual time on the table but but what is the cascade of events that you think they're preparing well i think first of all they fired their first shot on the 23rd of august remember we've all been told the 23rd of september everything is in motion now what my concern is my concern is is that that they will actually use the terrorists will use nuclear weapons that have been provided for them on the desert southwest without going into detail and with your permission, Alex, I'll send uh, Nico uh, an email to pass on to you. You can check it. I, w I don't want to speak it on the air. But the thing that's important is this, is that when people finally understand that terrorism is a well-financed army, and let's call it what it is, the army of the Antichrist. A the, shadow army, a proxy army. Yes, a proxy. That's even a better word. The proxy army of the Antichrist. And do you really think they have a hard time coming up with the money to buy anything? Look, Pakistan has been providing clandestine nukes to the uh, world for pretty much, I don't know, 15 years probably. I heard you say and that 10 years ago. That's now pretty much admitted. Right. And when I put up the first article about Iran exploding a nuclear weapon 15 years ago, uh, you know, it was sanitized from the Associated Press. I still think you can find it on my website through a search. And i got to be honest, people, I have lost track of the tens of thousands of pages on my website. You know it's Well, listen, it. I've talked to a high-level Special Forces commander, and, and I couldn't get into details, and I don't want to know the classified details. And I was told this a long time ago, that it was from Pakistan, that uh, Saudi Arabia already had them and that, uh, that the Iranians had gotten parts from the Russians and others. They needed a delivery system, but that they have devices, space-based, but also drone-based that can scan through the rock. They even know the isotopes of the bombs, and that Iran had three good-sized atomic bombs at least a decade ago. Absolutely, and they, they actually exploded one, and then the official lie that came out, Ladies and gentlemen, on the Associated Press, sanitized within one hour, and by the way, I went on coast to coast with that story, uh, basically stated that all the seismographs in the world failed. Now, let me make it clear. An earthquake has a total different seismic signature than a nuclear weapon. Totally different. They can tell. Not only that, Alex, but you're, you're spot on. They can tell the origin. They can tell the country that uh, refined uranium. They can tell everything. And then if people want to know how our enemies got the delivery system, I just encourage you to go look up Loral, L-O-I-A-L, satellite. Clinton gave it to all of them in 95. Yep. And, and so now we've got, realistically, Pakistan may have the world's third largest nuclear uh, weapons, you know, again, because they're, they're producing 20, 20 of them a year, okay? That's what they believe. Now, that's what, you know, they can kind of figure out by centrifuges, tests, all that stuff. But if you go back 10 years, that's 200 nuclear weapons. You're talking about strategic capability. When they talk about launch weight, throw weight, all those missile terms, you know, I, I say this. Well, have you guys factored in container weight? They say, what do you mean? I said, preposition containers with medium-range uh, ballistic missiles that the sides fold down and voila. Have you considered that those are already in the United States? Well, right now, you know, your sources will tell you the same thing. They know of at least 16 nuclear weapons unaccounted for in the United States. So the point being is, look, we can find this crap. If they can find Alex sure. Jones and they can see your wristwatch, read it from outer space. If, you, if they've got gigapixel cameras that can pick out 50,000 people and identify each individual base, why is it that all the assets that are turned against the American people aren't using the international terrorism? Listen, take the F-22. They've now proven what was said 15 years ago when they started development. It's not as good as the F-16. It's not as good as anything before it. It is sabotage. Hundred and something billion dollars. I mean, we are being sabotaged. Human flight programs, NASA. I had one of the former top NASA astronauts on. 
just two weeks ago, and he said, no, I agree. NASA is being sabotaged. Human operations are being sabotaged. America is being sabotaged. We are under sabotage attack. Well, and, and not only that, but here's the thing. I, I, you know, we're